When you're blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of the fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. It's a coffee mug. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. And most importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. Listen, I need to do this. I'm at the door. We don't hang up. Hello? I know nobody's there, but I'm just doing my due diligence. Hello? Probably should have worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. Moving out? Or moving in? Nobody's supposed to be here. Deep breaths, Cassie. You're here for a reason. In my dreams, I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there? <sighs> hate, hate, hate fire. Dearest Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our 10th year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. What was that? A memory?
she just smiles for no reason. <laughs> I was worried about the solitude of this place, but I think the impending addition is going to be her whole world. Until then, I just need to keep a batch of chocolate chip cookies on hand at all times. It appears cravings aren't just a wives' tale. What was that? belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. But I need the music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> but I love this song. Okay. for the next go. Ah. <sighs> I wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. What brought that back? for my dreams, what the hell does it mean? <sighs> Damn. I just have some digging around to do. Wish I left that one buried in the backyard. here.
Delphi. Text to speech. Patient, Briar, Felicia. 20 mg Fluxodine, tabs. Instructions, take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? New text message from Serge. Hey, about to board. What's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. This place feels different. Text-to-speech. Nancy Chang's Chinese Cuisine. those items.
Delphi text to speech. One. Some kind of woman. Somehow connected, connected to the tree. Two. Other people. Seemingly unrelated. A 1940s housewife? Could this be Betty? Some man with a mustache? Three. That song. Four. The noises. Five. Misaligned chakras? chakras? Was she having visions too? Everything's fine now. I'm fine. Sandy's fine. Won't you come back and sleep with us, Richard? Daddy. The only star I can really seem to hone in on is IC2118. A fave, to be sure, but dot the stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. IC2118. Just a shot in the dark, but I wonder if that star the good doctor was referring to might be it. What was it again? Dear Richard Breyer, you must immediately alert any current patients and cease administering therapy or prescriptions as of today. Any attempt to continue practicing will be considered fraud and subject to prosecution in court. Sincerely, Roger Bradley, 